Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Emma if you're new here. Um, we do lots of sewing videos here and typically I post more than I have recently. Um, we've actually been in the process of buying a house so that kind of took away my time from sewing but I'm back. We'll be doing videos every other week. If you want to see more of my videos I would love it if you subscribed and liked this video because that helps me out in the algorithm. But yeah, so in this video, I'm going to be taking a vintage men's vest pattern and making a vest for my brother-in-law. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I don't typically use store-bought patterns very often, but this was a pretty easy one. And if I can find it, I will link it down below. But yeah, let's jump right on in. So you'll need four of the back piece, two front piece, or two outside pieces, two lining pieces. Then you'll need six pieces of the front piece, two of the outside fabric, two of interfacing, and two of lining. The interfacing is optional depending on your fabric thickness. And then you'll need two of the belt loop pieces. First, I'm starting off by serging my interfacing piece to my outside piece, just because I didn't have any iron on interfacing, but I would recommend that over this method. Now I'm going in and adding in all the darts. Um, there's one in each front piece and then I'll have to do that for both the outside piece and the lining piece and then I'm going to be sewing up the back to the mark at the bottom V. And then I'm pressing those smooth and I'm pressing the darts towards the side seam and then the back I'm just splitting it flat open. Now, one of these belt loop pieces needs to be slightly shorter, so I'm just cutting that right now and then turning those into loops by folding it like a hot dog and then sewing along one side and then one of the short sides. Thank you. 
and then it took me a million years to turn them right sides out because I end up having to make mine narrower than the pattern just because of the uh, buckle attachment I bought for this project. And then I forgot to film this as well, but I attached the, the buckle to the right side piece, the shorter one, and then I stitched them down onto the back outside piece at the indicated spots on the pattern. Now we are going to attach the front shoulder seam to the back shoulder seam for both the outside and the lining. Now we are going to pin together all of the outside edges um, and you're going to leave the side seams open because that's how we're going to flip it and this way it'll give us a smooth clean edge everywhere and then I'll show you how to close up those side seams once we sew around all of this. It's definitely a lot of work in your machine to go all the way around but it definitely is worth it for the clean edge it gives. And then flip it or clip the corners, then flip it, and then iron it smooth so it's nice and flat.
Then what we're going to do is at the side seams, we're going to match out the outer fabric together and then sew it up and also sewing up an inch on either side of the lining so that there's only a gap on the inside and that we will stitch close by hand. I ended up not filming the rest of this process just because I decided to do it at my brother-in-law and sister's house because I wanted him to try it on before I completely sealed it up. But then the next step is to hand stitch those side seams closed, add your buttons and your buttonholes according to the pattern. And then this vest is done. It was a very simple project and it maybe took me th three hours and let's see how it turned out. And that's it. This is actually a pretty simple project. I think it maybe took me like only a couple hours, I wanna say. The longest part was probably hand stitching the inner lining together at the side seams, just cause I was doing it at my sister and brother-in-law's house and they didn't have the best lighting and it was in the evening, but it's finished, it looks great. And if you make a men's vest based on this video and use that pattern, I would love to see it. You can tag me in it on Instagram. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.